Take the high ground, Joe. Don't backseat me, Donald. I got this. See, look at you. Already f***ing up. Oh, f Come on, man. You want to try doing something? Shut up. I'm trying to think. How in the world did you just miss that pull? Stop crowding me, man. I got this. Look. I see you got one bar of health and you're not using your Omni gel. My Omni what? Oh, good God. He can't seriously be this bad. Look at me. I got that guy. Uh, Joe, you should probably check your radar. What radar? Where? How do I pull it up? God, if you take another rocket, I'm gonna lose my mind. Wait, why the f*** are you charging right now? Shut up, it worked. This is absolutely not the run. You're cooked. Nah, I'm clearing it this time. Watch me. Joe, for the love of all that is holy, hold shift and use your goddamn Omni-Gel. Let me get this turret out the way first. No, heal now, you senile old fart, before a stray bullet from the guys coming up behind you kills you. God f***ing damn it. It's been four months and you're still not able to clear Grissom Academy, Joe. I'd be able to do it on Adept. Vanguard is the stupidest goddamn class in this entire game. No wonder you're so ass. You get by spamming pull and throw over and over instead of actually engaging with the combat. Don't talk to me about spamming the same abilities over and over. All you do on Vanguard is charge into a bunch of guys, hit Nova, and then rinse and repeat. Oh, look at me. I fly directly into the enemy and instantly recover all my shields for free. Shoot them with my gun and then use Nova. Vanguard is completely brain dead gameplay. If it's so brain dead, why are you so dog shit at it, huh, Joey boy? You're about a step away from being brain dead on a daily basis, so the class should be perfect for you then. You talking a lot of shit, but you conveniently never want to record yourself gaming, Donald. Oh wait, you can't record yourself playing a game because you're in fucking jail? I'm surprised they're even letting you use Discord in there. Shut the fuck up, Joe, before I shove a M300 Claymore so far up your- I can't leave to go make some damn dinner for five minutes without the two of you starting to tear each other apart. Michelle said she could hear the both of you through my headphones. Donald won't stop clowning on me for not being able to play Vanguard. It's not my fault Joe can only play Adept. Plus, he made fun of me for being charged with some bullshit election charges. Jesus Christ, I thought I was done dealing with this crap when my daughters grew up. Joe, you are ass at Mass Effect. You're the only one of us who can't clear the game on insanity. Donald, not everyone has to be able to play Vanguard. Stop making Joe do it. Also, you getting charged is admittedly pretty funny. Okay, well, Joe is still wrong for saying Vanguard is the worst class. If Joe did say that, he is wrong. Explain to me right now what makes Vanguard so good. Why stop there? Peep this tier list of all the Mass Effect classes across the trilogy. Is this how you've been spending your years since being president, making random Mass Effect related tier lists? To be fair, I make Walking Dead ones now too. So what's the nature of this tier list? We'll judge the classes as they appear in each game. Put simply, Soldier in Mass Effect. One will be ranked differently from Soldier in Mass Effect 2 and 3 since the changes in the class and overall gameplay affects how good these classes are. We won't be factoring bonus powers into this. Also, we'll be mostly ranking this from an insanity difficulty point of view with a few exceptions down the line. I know this is another highly requested tier list, so let's jump into it. Good deal, we'll start with the OG class, Mass Effect 1 Soldier. The Soldier is a class for the men among men. It's the only class where you get to equip heavy armor and you get access to training in every weapon. Soldier's kind of boring, if I'm being honest. All you do is just shoot a gun. Why do that when you get access to space magic? Unsurprisingly, Joe doesn't understand the appeal of simply just blasting all your problems in the face with a big fucking gun. Setting aside the joys that can be brought by turning someone to dust with some incendiary ammo, Soldier is a very powerful and beginner-friendly class in one. All that bulk lets you survive a lot of damage. An adrenaline burst lets you instantly recharge all your talents so you can get a second chance on any mistakes. Adrenaline burst works well with immunity and shield boost, makes you even tankier. The guns and tankiness might be great and all, but soldiers don't have any tech or biotic powers, so they lack good crowd control and they don't have any tech powers. So good luck getting any of that nice loot from the sealed containers. That's why you always bring Tally with you, obviously. Joe is right. The soldier does have a few weak points worth remembering, and you'll need to pick the right squad mates to cover those areas. Soldier is still the best class of the game, offering you a lot of versatility and adaptability. It's a top class in Mass Effect 1, and perhaps the best version of the class across the trilogy. It should go into God tier. You're bugging, I'll admit the soldier is good, if a bit dull. But without tech and biotics, the class has some problems. Any problems the soldier has is immediately counteracted by how much damage it can do with every shot and by how unbelievably tanky it is. 
I don't need singularity or overload to disable opponents when I can just annihilate them with overwhelming firepower. As usual, I'm in the middle here. The weaknesses of Soldier in Mass Effect 1 are nothing in the face of how powerful it is. It's also the only class that is 100% viable at every single range thanks to its access to every type of weapon. However, the class can be a bit dull. So let's put Mass Effect 1 Soldier in A tier. Now we move on to Mass Effect 2, and the Soldier goes through a few changes here. It's still a top tier class and is the only class that automatically has access to every single weapon type. You're nuts. Soldier falls off a bit in 2 because of the addition to health types like armor, barriers, and shields. The Soldier has the ammo powers to deal with them, but its only offensive power is concussive shot. Joe has a point. You're nowhere near as tough as you are in 1, so that means you can only really shoot from cover. All in all, I'd say Soldier in Mass Effect 2 is pretty boring. You get access to the crazy M96 Matic, that by itself makes Soldier a top class. The damage that comes from the gun boost Soldier. Don't let just a gun sway you, Barry. Besides, that says more about the Matic than it does the class. All of the other classes bring completely unique gameplay options, but Soldier is just shooting a gun. Even Adrenaline Rush, the Soldier's signature technique, just makes you shoot, but in slow motion. Hello, Joe. Wake the fuck up. Mass Effect is a shooter. How is shooting a gun a bad thing? It's also an action RPG. There's more to Mass Effect than just shooting. A lot of the appeal and gameplay comes from all the various ways you can tackle it, and Soldier is just using a gun all the time. Why don't you go play Halo if you like shooting so much? All right, ease up. Overall, I think Soldier is a step down from its position in Mass Effect 1. It's certainly more boring and doesn't do as well without any heavy hitting offensive powers to deal with the different health types. So let's put it in B tier, shall we? I think that's too high. The class is way too boring for B tier. Stop chatting, Joe. Just put it in B tier and move on. We'll round out the soldier with its time in Mass Effect 3. What do you boys think? Same as Mass Effect 2, same old, same old. It even lost the advantage it had in being able to use every weapon. Every class can do that now. So what's so special about the soldier now? I don't know, Joe. Maybe the fact that it has the highest weight capacity so you can take more weapons into battle with you. You can't even take advantage of any of the cool biotic combos on soldier. Now that's not entirely true. You can combo off your ammo powers or off your squad mates using concussive shot. I'd still rather use pull and throw to blow things up instead. Yeah, have fun spamming the same two abilities over and over while I'm bringing a different gun into every mission so I can get a fresh gameplay experience every time. I do think Soldier is a bit lackluster in Mass Effect 3 for the most part. It's still a powerful class, but when we're talking entertainment, the other classes have so much more to offer besides just shooting. I'd say it's B tier, just like Mass Effect 2 version. Thank you, why the hell would you pick Soldier when you can move people with your mind like a true biotic god? Don't you dare invoke the biotic god's name to strengthen your argument, you apostate. Cry about it, we're moving on to the Adept in Mass Effect 1. Now it's my time to arrive. The Adept in Mass Effect 1 is the god class, and you can't deny the fact one bit, Donald. Watch me, you can only use the pistol and you're built like wet tissue paper for most of the game. Adepts are weak as shit in Mass Effect 1. Donald, my boy, I know you're going through a lot right now, but this is legitimately the single worst and most incorrect take you've delivered in any of these videos thus far. You really want this smoke today, Barack? Uh, Barry, need I remind you of all the things this guy has said about synthetics and Turians? Biotics in Mass Effect are straight up the most overpowered things in the entire trilogy. You start out squishy and you're very cooldown dependent. But as things go on, Adept Shepard in Mass Effect 1 becomes a full-blown Jedi warrior who can't be stopped. Now you're spitting Barry. You got a Krogan rushing you? Use lift. Got a Geth Prime rushing you? Use throw. Room full of Geth hoppers pissing you off? Use singularity. Biotics in Mass Effect 1 are straight up a fuck you and fuck your entire family lineage. And as for being soft, maxing out barrier on Adept basically takes care of that, especially since the cooldown becomes non-existent and you just have it on indefinitely. Get the fuck out of here. The Adept takes no skill. You just spam abilities all day. You don't even need to aim them because of how wide the radius is. So what? Not everything needs a high skill ceiling, Donald. You being ass at the game makes so much sense. Miss me with that gatekeeping BS, Donald. You know as well as I do, the biotic classes take a lot of game sense to utilize properly. Adept is so powerful, it makes combat in Mass Effect one free beyond belief. And because of that, we're putting it in the S tier. There's not much else in Mass Effect one as good as Adept. Adept clear soldier every day of the week. Oh yeah? Well, let's see how Adept holds up in Mass Effect two. Nowhere near as well, to be honest. Adept gets nerfed beyond belief in two. The new health types keep the abilities from working until you get past them. 
which wouldn't be a problem if it weren't for the fact that the most prominent health type is shields. And adepts have no way of dealing with them naturally. Not to mention you're stuck using SMGs and pistols for most of the game. The Shuriken and Predator, awful, just awful. Adept powers are still useful on higher difficulties. You just use the power to momentarily stun the opponent so you can crack their defenses. While true, that's still pretty mid. On easier difficulties, Adept has the best crowd control, but the second you hit hardcore, it's over for you. All of your abilities besides warp are basically useless. Not to mention you have no way of replenishing your barrier like some of the other classes do, making Adept squishier than it was in Mass Effect 1. Put Mass Effect 2 Adept in F tier. It is way too unenjoyable in 2. If you're playing on any difficulty that isn't normal, you legit need energy drain to make the class playable. Absolutely not. Adept is still a great class in 2. You can't deny it still has its uses. I'll settle for D tier. I think Adept has its place in Mass Effect 2, but the nerfs it suffered due to game changes seriously cripple it. Next up is Mass Effect 3 Adept. Come on now, you know Mass Effect 3 Adept has some of the most satisfying gameplay in the trilogy. For maybe the first 10 to 15 minutes of the game, you're so cool down dependent that you can only take smaller weapons with you into battle and all you use is pull and throw over and over again. You're the one using pull and throw over and over again. I use all the biotic abilities to create more satisfying explosive blasts, like using shockwaves so I can trigger multiple explosions one after another. Also unlike Mass Effect 2, Mass Effect 3 has pretty engaging SMGs and pistols like the Acolyte. Mass Effect 3 Adept improves from 2. You can prime and detonate targets with all your powers making it the excellent support class, not to mention it's fun as hell blowing everything up with your space magic, put it in god tier Barak. Adept still has a weakness with shields. That right there ought to keep it from god tier. I agree with Donald. Adept in Mass Effect 3 is a fun and engaging class, but it isn't anywhere near the peak of its Mass Effect 1 version, so we'll put it in A tier. Now we're going on to a pretty underrated class, the Engineer, starting with Mass Effect 1. The class for nerds is absolute trash. All that tech and no power whatsoever makes the Engineer the worst of the bunch. How dare you? Engineer lets you crack open the security containers for good loot and you can support your squad while they do all the damage. Why in the f would I want to rely on the NPCs to do all the fighting? First of all, I'm the player. I want to fight. Second of all, the NPC's AI isn't good enough to carry you through the game. Plus, if I want to open the locked containers, I can just bring Tally with me. Engineer and Mass Effect would definitely be an interesting and engaging class if you were playing something like Baldur's Gate with a bunch of your friends. But in a PvE single player game, I'd rather skip it most of the time. I know I said Engineer is underrated, but in Mass Effect 1, it is a pretty lame class. It's probably going all the way down into F tier. The only reason I ever play it is if I'm carrying the same class through all three games. Well, how does Engineer stack up in Mass Effect 2? Not much better. Wrong, Donald. Engineer actually becomes a lot more useful in Mass Effect 2, thanks to some of its powers. Incinerate lets the class clap armor and Overload takes out shields. Also, did you guys know Overload makes enemy guns overheat and force a reload? Wait, it does? Yep, the overheating mechanic never left, it just became less obvious, it happens to you too. Another point for the Engineer, the best thing about the class is its ability to disable opponents. You can hack synthetics, freeze with cryoblast, and summon the combat drone to distract things. The Engineer has no answer to long-ranged opponents and can't do anything to barriers. Not a big problem. Your powers can reach enemies at long range. You gotta give Engineer a high ranking. My favorite thing to do with the class is take Talion Legion and just summon three combat drones to completely break the enemy AI. That is a pretty good point and a great segue into Mass Effect 3, so we'll put Mass Effect 2 Engineer in A tier and move on. All right, all right, I won't bullshit you here, Mass Effect 3 Engineer. Pretty good. Pretty good is a wild understatement. The class is OP beyond belief. Recall those ever hated Cerberus turrets? Well, now we can hack those and turn them on the enemy. Watching the Cerberus engineer set them up just to get fucking nuked in an instant is the funniest shit ever. Overload can now break through biotic barriers, removing the one weakness the engineer class had in Mass Effect 2. But let's get to the real meat of the topic here. The engineer is basically a summoner class. You got the combat drone which can fire rockets or shoot electricity, and a sentry turret that has cryo and armor piercing ammo, and then on top of that, it gets a mother fucking flamethrower. I can't even pretend that's not cool. You know it's good when Donald can't pretend to hate it. We need to actually focus on this point here. On Engineer, you have Shepard, both your squad mates, the combat drone, and a sentry turret. That is essentially a team of five right there. Add in Tally's combat drone, and you get six. Hack a Cerberus turret, and you get seven. 
and I know we aren't adding bonus powers, but if you get Dominate from Morinth to hack an organic, you get eight attackers on your side. The Mass Effect gameplay completely falls apart under such conditions. God tier, just like Adept in Mass Effect 1, Engineer in 3 makes the combat totally free, and it's easily the most unique class in the game. Nothing else plays like this. Big agree, a lot of people hype up the Vanguard, but in terms of variety, Engineer is nuts. Easily a god tier. I can't argue with facts. The things you can do with the Engineer class are utterly insane. Good to see you two be on the same page for once. We're hitting up the Vanguard next. You mean the Manguard, the number one class across the trilogy? No, I mean the number one most overrated class across the trilogy. Barack, get your vice president before I do. He's speaking absolute slander right now. You're speaking nonsense, Joe. The Vanguard has a strong case for best class in Mass Effect 1. What in blue hell are you talking about? Vanguard has the perfect balance of the soldier's DPS and tankiness and the adept's biotic power. With access to both pistols and shotguns, you can be effective at any range. You even get Adrenaline Burst, which gives you a free reset on all your biotic talents. With Adept, you're just a space wizard, but on the Manguard, you're a full-blown space warrior. You're still lacking tech abilities. As we already said, that's hardly a problem when you can just shoot everything to death and when you have access to Tally. Frankly, Vanguard in Mass Effect 1 is just as good, if not outright better, than Adept. I think we're looking at another God tier. Damn straight, go ahead and drop every other version of Manguard in God tier 2. I don't think so. Vanguard might be really good in Mass Effect 1, but it's not so great in 2. It gets even better with 2 with the biotic charge. It's the only class where you don't have to be stuck to cover the whole damn game. I don't know about that one, Donald. It's true that charge is fun, but the way Mass Effect 2 is designed makes playing Vanguard a real struggle. Half the levels in the game have areas where charge literally can't be used, and sometimes the ability won't work for basically no reason whatsoever. Without charge, Vanguard is just a super cut down version of Adept, but with a shotgun. I really want to say Mass Effect 2 Vanguard goes in C tier, to be honest. You're gonna put the most engaging class in C tier? It's the most engaging class, but it isn't the best one. Hell, on insanity difficulty charge isn't even really effective because of all the shields, armor, and barriers. Vanguards don't get warp, so they don't have anything for barriers, and they only have incendiary ammo for armor. Don't tell me you're gonna have the same take on Vanguard in Mass Effect 3. Of course not, the class takes a massive evolution in 3. All you do is spam charge and Nova on repeat. I'm still waiting on you to explain why that's a bad thing. Joe, spamming charge and Nova isn't all that much worse than spamming pull and throw. Besides charging, lighting something on fire, and then creating a pyro explosion with Nova is one of the best feelings in the game. You can't even do anything half the fucking game because of the Cerberus turrets and the brutes. See, that's your problem, Joe. Playing Manguard is a lot like wielding Mjolnir. You simply aren't worthy to hold such power. Joe's belly aching aside, Vanguard in Mass Effect 3 is easily one of the most dynamic classes. It's true you mostly rinse and repeat the same two abilities, but once you start vibing, the gameplay goes crazy. We're putting the Vanguard in Mass Effect 3 in S tier. It's fun and powerful, but it isn't really broken or anything like that. But damn, if it doesn't scratch that itch. Now we're moving on to Infiltrator in Mass Effect 1. A good old fashioned sniper class can't go wrong with popping a few heads. I'm a big fan of Infiltrator. It mixes the best of soldier and engineer, giving you a high damage and relatively tanky tech specialist. There's nothing you're doing with a sniper rifle that you can't do with a pistol. Mass Effect 1 isn't the Infiltrator's best version. That's true, so why don't we stick it in C tier and head off to where things get really good, Mass Effect 2. Infiltrator gets a cloaking ability that gives it the option to easily relocate in the heat of battle. Now we're talking. Infiltrator is another dynamic class that rewards great game sense and mechanical skill. You only have incinerate to burn through armor, but sniper rifles do so much damage that it doesn't matter. You clap the other health types with your gun alone. There's also some neat speed running options by using cloak. You can straight up skip combat altogether. Hear that, Joe? Now you can just run through Mass Effect 2 instead of fighting things like a man. You're talking a lot of shit for a man who's about to need a presidential pardon, Donald. Joke's on you, bitch. My charges are at the state level. A pardon from you is worthless. Wait. Hey, you said it, not me. Infiltrator in Mass Effect has a strong case for the best class. You don't have any powers for biotic barriers, but to be honest, you don't need them when you have the Joe Star family secret technique. Nigrandeo! Put Infiltrator in S tier. It's not God tier, but it's pretty damn close. Infiltrator in 3 is admittedly a pretty good time. You can use Cloak to move around more freely, but it also lets you be a close-ranged assassin. 
This is about as close as Mass Effect lets you get to playing a thief class. Some of the stunts you can pull with Cloak are crazy. For one, you can use it and walk right up to an enemy and throw one of the sticky grenades right on them, giving you a free kill whenever you want. Also, you can't forget the legendary Black Widow. Strong case for the most satisfying gun in the game. I love nothing more than aiming and then watching the other guy's skull turn into a fresh watermelon being dropped from a tall building. Uh, Donald, you're kind of scaring me there, brother. You're in sniping range, Joe. Watch yourself. Bro, don't joke like that after what happened to Kennedy. Joe, that was like 60 damn years ago. Anyway, we're definitely putting Mass Effect 3 Infiltrator in God tier. The cloak ability is stupid OP because once you use it, there's nothing the enemy AI can do to stop you. That coupled with your insane damage makes Infiltrator a top class. And now we're on to the most boring and trash class of the trilogy, the Sentinel. Oh, Donald, you done stepped in it now. Uh-huh. Run that by me again, Donald. Did you just say Sentinel is trash? The class is so unbelievably unappealing, which isn't surprising, it's the same class as Caden. You don't understand how much Barry rides for Sentinel. Sentinel is straight up the most consistently top tier class across all three games. The hell are you talking about? In Mass Effect 1, you don't even specialize in any weapons. All you get is pistols through your class power, and you can't even evolve marksmen. Like you said yourself, Donald, most of your goals can be met with a pistol in Mass Effect 1. With that, you get great biotics like lift, throw, and barrier. Plus, you pick up tech, and neural shock is a powerful ability as well. It is the true jack of all trades character. Yeah, jack of all trades and master of none of them, Sentinel has minimal biotics, minimal tech, low HP and shielding, and low access to weapons. It's another support class like the engineer put it in F tier. It's true Sentinel is a support class, but any class with biotics is automatically a high tier class in Mass Effect 1 because biotics are overpowered. Plus with decryption you can drop Tally and pick a more powerful squad mate like Rex or Ashley without losing too much utility. The flexibility Sentinel grants you definitely makes it an A tier class. Of course you like the lame classes, Joe. And of course you like all the flashy classes. We're putting Sentinel in A tier and going to Mass Effect 2 where the class becomes even better. In fact, Sentinel is the best class in Mass Effect 2 straight up. No way are you saying Sentinel is better than Infiltrator and Soldier. Oh, but I am. Sentinel is the only class with powers that target all three health types by default. It gets overload and warp. On top of that, Sentinel has tech armor. Vanguard wishes it was as tanky as Sentinel. With tech armor, the class can double or even triple the strength of Shepard's shields and the energy pulse that flies out turns you into a walking bomb. Vanguard gets skill diffed by Sentinel any day of the week. You're out of your damn mind, Vanguard Slam Sentinel. Sentinel also has some of the best stats thanks to its passive. You either get the fastest power recharge time or the greatest power damage boost. On the basis that Sentinel has excellent stats and has an answer to all the things the game can throw at you, it should be God tier. Good take, Joe. God tier it is. I'm still never playing Sentinel. Your loss. Finally, we'll end things with Sentinel and Mass Effect 3. You get a pretty cool, unique melee where you swing double Omni blades while you have tech armor activated. The class is certainly still amazing, especially now that you can access shotguns by default. Donald, you should just give Sentinel a chance. You can be nearly as aggressive on it as you can on Vanguard. Never. Vanguard for life. Charge for life. Nova for life. At least I have the balls to try out classes I don't like. I bet you wouldn't know what to do on Sentinel. I could play Sentinel with my eyes closed. Prove it. Oh wait, you can't because you're in jail. Careful, Joe, keep that up and I might just spill the juice I have on you. You don't have any dirt on me. I've seen your search history, buddy. I know enough to make sure you lose 2024. Donald, I showed you that in confidence. Besides, I saw your search history too. No one would be surprised if it's me, but you? Come on, think of what Jill would say. You two are giving me a headache. One of these days, we're going to put this nonsense to rest and have a competition to see who plays Mass Effect the best. For now, let's decide where to rank Sentinel in Mass Effect 3 and close out for the day. I think it should go into S tier. Sentinel is easily a top three class in the final game and deserves S tier for its trouble. The only reason it isn't God tier is because it isn't blatantly the best like it was in Mass Effect 2. You'll never convince me Sentinel is a good class. It's literally the second least played class. Even the players know it's mid. Popularity doesn't mean it's good. Donald, you're overruled. Sentinel is going into S tier, and that's the end of it. Fine. Well, Joe, ready to give the Grissom Academy mission another shot? All right, I'm locked in.